Can I get a vegetable filled tortilla? Are you a vegan or a vegetarian, Violet? A vegetarian. My father wouldn't allow me to become a vegan. Says it's not good for your body. I'd really like to go vegan, though. Why exactly? I saw a documentary once about chicken farms. I think I cried three times. I just couldn't participate in an industry that is so unethical. Huh? I couldn't go without meat for a single day. Which just gives me more reason to think you're really brave, Violet. So Naomi, how is your short story collection coming along? It's actually going quite well. I think I'm getting to know more about myself through these sessions, and I'm able to use this in my writings. I think we'd all like to hear that. Well, I have realized how much of my life is based around appearances. I started thinking about what would be left to me if I removed what other people thought of me. That's really interesting. What did you find out? I discovered there wouldn't be anything left. I would be empty. So, I wrote a story about a girl that wakes up in a parallel universe and finds herself all alone in the world. She realizes she doesn't really know who she is anymore. So as she's trying to get back home, she's also trying to find herself. That's beautiful, Naomi. I'm sure it will be an amazing story. Thank you, Eve. I sure hope so. I feel like that too, actually. What do you mean, Stacy? I guess I... I guess I realized I don't know who I am. Not fully. I was so focused on worshiping my religion, I forgot to focus on myself. I'd, I'd actually really like to go back to school and finish my studies. That's great, Stacy. I'm really happy for you. I guess we're all just looking for a place to belong. A few years back, I felt just like you two. I was chasing a sports career, trying to be the best, when I suddenly stopped and thought to myself, who am I without my achievements? When I had to retreat from sports, I was angry and mournful. But then, I was happy. Because for once in my life, I was left with nothing. It's a surprisingly hopeful place to be in. You can only go up. Because I had taken roots in this world. I loved and fought and won and lost. And on my deathbed, I won't remember the accomplishments I made. I'll remember the people I loved. That's beautiful, Violet. I think it's something we should all remember. How to lean on the ones we love and persevere. As it is, I'm sad Emily wasn't here to hear this. She sure could use a lesson in maturity. There's always something with that girl. She's probably still at the house. You should go and bring her here. She's gonna miss out on lunch.
Yeah, I'm starving.
I like that, Em. I'm sorry you're leaving. I do. I was quite scared actually. Scared of having to share a room with a stranger. Alone time with him? That's pretty rare.
Goodbye, Dr. Eve.